Maybe it's just me or confirmation bias, but ever since I bought the Moment Cinebloom diffusion filter, I've been noticing diffusion filters in more and more places. It seems like every brand has their own version of a mist filter or a halation filter, a diffusion filter. I even saw it called a dream filter, and they're all pretty much the same thing, but this is potentially confusing, especially if you're just starting out in photo or video. So today I'm going over four different mist filters that I thought looked really cool. So you guys ready? Let's get to it. So as I said, there's a plethora of diffusion filters out there, and I'm sure some of you are wondering, what is a diffusion filter? And for that matter, what is diffusion? A really simple way of explaining what diffusion is, is to just take a beam that is focused and to spread it out. So when you put your thumb over a garden hose, you're taking that stream of water and diffusing it into a mist or when you put your softbox over your spotlight. It goes from something that's very hard and directional to something spread out and softer. That's all diffusion is. And by the way, that's just like the most simple way I can explain diffusion, but I can already hear the comments in my head. Actually, diffusion is from the Greek word for diff... I don't care. In my world, diffusion means to spread some light out. So what is a diffusion filter? A diffusion filter is just a piece of glass that you screw onto the front of your lens and it softens your image. It brings the contrast down, it might bring the blacks up a little bit, it gives halation to the highlights, which is that glow that you'll see around the highlights, and it basically just cuts down on the clinical sharpness that you'll find in modern cameras and lenses. And I'm sure some of you are thinking, well, everybody told me to get these amazing, expensive, sharp lenses, so what gives? Why would I want to cut back on that? You're not always going to be in the exact same situation. Sometimes you're going to run into something where you want a dreamy, smooth, soft look. So a diffusion filter is just a specific tool for a specific job. But anyway, let's take a look at what's on the menu today. We have the Tiffin Black Pro Mist in one quarter strength. We also have the KNF Concept Black Diffusion Filter in one quarter strength. We have the Moment Cine Bloom in a 20% strength. And we have the Wild Card of the Bunch, which is the Freewell Variable ND 2 to 5 Stop Mist Edition. I'd also like to say before continuing that none of these companies sent me anything for free, nothing like that. This video is not sponsored. I bought all four filters with my own money so these opinions are mine and mine alone. Let's talk cases. We got the Moment, Tiffin, KNF Concept, Freewell. I like all these cases except one, the Tiffin case. This Tiffin case is just complete garbage. Like you're not gonna carry your filter around with a little crappy piece of foam just flopping around in there. And it's just, it's not a good case. No reflection on how the filter performs, but the case is just grade A, organic, free range, doo-doo butter. Since we started out with my least favorite, the Tiffin, we're gonna move up the list to my favorite. Next up is the KNF Concept case, and it's not a horrible case. I mean, it is what it is. What I really don't like about it is it's two pieces, so walk yourself through that. You're changing filters at a wedding, and now you have to wrangle two separate pieces of your case that isn't that great in the first place. I mean, it's just, it's not a very good design. And the other thing I don't like is all these grooves are for larger and smaller filters, so I guess presentation-wise, they don't really care they just give you the same case no matter what filter you buy from them and I really don't like that. Second favorite on the list, the Freewell. I love this case. It's magnetic so it closes magnetically. It's clear so you can see what filter you're picking up. The only gripe that I have with this case is sometimes if the filter isn't perfectly centered in that little groove in there, it won't close. Because it's magnetic, you won't really know if it doesn't close, but it just won't close all the way because I don't think this case was designed to hold the filter when it had its lens cap on it, so I don't really know. I, I mean, that's my only gripe with it. Other than that, it's super well built and I use it every single day. Last but not least is, you guessed it, the Moment case. This is my favorite case on the list. It's nice and easy to open, the foam feels good, it's well built, it's small, it's tiny, and the simplicity is what gets me. Like, it's just perfect. Before I go over all four prices, I got the prices from the 82 millimeter version of each of these filters, so it's the absolute most you would pay for them. If you got a smaller version, you'd be paying considerably less. So the Freewell Variable ND Mist Edition came in at $109. The Moment Cine Bloom came in at $79. 
The Tiffin Black Pro Mist came in at $119, and in true KNF Concept fashion, by the time I got back to my order with KNF Concept, the whole ad was just changed to a different filter. The sizes are all wrong. One of the filters is 40.1 millimeters for some reason. I know I paid $60 for the filter, so you have the price of that filter, but I don't know if you can get it anymore because they just changed the ad. So k &F Concept, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing, man? We're here to compare these four filters to one another, but it's not really a fair comparison in the first place. It's kind of an apples to oranges situation because these four filters are not made to do the exact same things. So what's different about them? The Freewell Variable ND Mist Edition is the obvious choice here. It's the strong outlier. It's a variable ND filter first, and then it has the mist built in afterwards. The other three filters on our list are a lot more similar to one another, but they're not achieving identical effects. Take the Tiffin Black Pro mist for instance the black part of the name means that it's going to try to retain your black point as opposed to say the Cinebloom filter which raises your black point up oddly enough the KNF concept black diffusion filter is called the black diffusion filter but it doesn't retain the black point what I think happened and I'm just guessing here is KNF concept gives me the vibe of one of those copycat brands kind of like Amazon basics or newer where they just take the design of a product change the name a little bit and then sell it at half the price and I think that they probably copied black pro mist from Tiffin made their version of the filter but didn't retain the black point in their filter whatsoever so ironically it's called the black diffusion filter for no reason let's talk about these filters one at a time for a minute starting with the moment cine bloom 20% and this filter has been in my kit the longest out of any of them and I'm really glad that I got the 20% version not that there's anything wrong with the 10% version but the 20% is not subtle in the slightest it is an effects filter and you're going to notice immediately upon putting it on your camera. You're also going to notice that your blacks come way up, your contrast comes way down, and it just makes everything look very smooth and dreamy and cinematic. And in my opinion, it's a great effects filter that's going to stay in my kit for a very long time. As far as build quality is concerned, I have no complaints with the Cinebloom filter. The knurling around the edges could be a little bit deeper, and every now and then it's hard to screw into my lenses like it'll get cross-threaded for no reason, but I don't know if it was like that out of the box, so I don't don't want to blame moment for that. Freewell Variable ND Mist Edition is obviously the odd man out on this list, but I wanted to talk about the idea of variable ND filters with the diffusion built in. I used to only use this as my ND filter, and I ran into a lot of situations where it was like, man, I wish this just didn't have the diffusion in it, or man, I wish this was just a diffusion filter with no ND because it's so dark right now. So I switched to using ND filters and diffusion filters and then stacking them if I wanted both so that I could take either away if I needed to. Yeah, obviously that yields a more versatile setup, but sometimes it's nice to just throw your ND filter on and be able to go get that dreamy sunset look. So I don't really have any gripes with this filter in the first place. I just needed a setup that was more versatile. Concerning build quality with the Freewell, I have no complaints whatsoever. It is a little bit heavy, but I don't know if that's a bad thing. If you use a gimbal, it might be. Other than that, there's hard stops in the ND portion, which is awesome. It even comes with its own magnetic lens cap, which is a great idea in my opinion. So the build quality on the Freewell Variable ND Mist Edition is top notch in my opinion. The Tiffin Black Pro Mist is definitely the most subtle filter on this list, but image quality wise, it's probably my favorite out of all of them. The images that you get will still have the softness in the skin tones. You'll still have your bloom around the highlights and everything, but it maintains your black level. So it keeps everything nice and clean looking. It's a very crisp image that you get out of it without losing your diffusion. Concerning build quality, the Tiffin is fine. It's just the most basic looking filter ever. There's not even any knurling around the edges. There is a little bit of knurling on the front edge for some reason. I don't really know why, but other than that, it's literally the most basic looking filter you could imagine. It feels sturdy. I mean, it's it's a filter. Last but not least on our list, we have the KNF Concept Black Diffusion Filter in one quarter strength, and for $60, I feel like I was robbed. First of all, the diffusion in this filter is just way too much. Your highlights will look very smoky. Your skin tones will be unusably soft and mushy looking, and I'm just not very happy with the image quality out of this thing. Also, there's a color cast, and the glass looks like it has like speckles of something on it. I guess that's what diffuses the image, but I'm just not happy with this thing, and it's getting returned immediately. On that exceedingly cheery note, Merry Christmas everybody and if you got anything out of this video consider going down and hitting the like and the sub button. It means the world to content creators like me. Thank you for joining me on another episode of Sam Has a Spending Problem and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!